Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. In order to help pork farmers who are facing difficulties after the recent African swine fever outbreak, Gyeonggi Province launched a pork processing factory tour program for consumers as part of its efforts to promote pork consumption. Today, this meat processing factory in Gyeonggi Province has received more than 60 visitors, including school dietitians, parents, and consumer group members. These visitors are concerned about the safety of meat products, especially pork. During the tour, the visitors hear assurances that pork is safe to consume, countering public misconceptions that stem from a fear of African swine fever. Visitors also toured the factory to see firsthand how safely Kyungi Governor approved GMARC meat products are processed. During their day long tour, the visitors received education in meat safety, toured the factory, and enjoyed a lunch prepared with GMARC Korean pork. <laughs> This meat factory tour program is geared to reverse declining pork consumption that is affecting pork farmers. 경기도 우수 축산물 축산 시설을 보여드리고 체험도 하면서 경기도에서 얼마나 좋은 축산물들이 생산되고 있는지 많이 보여드리려고 하고요. Kyungi Province has been promoting pork consumption through increased pork usage in school meals and public organization cafeteria menus, as well as through promotional campaigns at a number of locations. The province plans to expand its campaign channels to media, public transportation, and social networking services. On November 19th, six autonomies through which the planned Capital Region Inland Rail Line will run including Gyeonggi Province and North Chuncheong Province, signed an agreement to cooperate in the realization of this railroad construction project. Spanning 78.8 kilometers between Hwasong City of Gyeonggi Province and Cheongju International Airport and in North Chuncheong Province, this rail line will reduce the travel time between the two locations to only 34 minutes. The six autonomies agreed to cooperate in having this rail line project, which connects the capital region with central regions of Korea, included in the central government's fourth national railroad network construction plan. Participating local government leaders agree that this project will contribute to balanced national and local economic development, especially for the Ansong City and Cheongju International Airport areas where no real services are the six autonomies will operate an executive committee to discuss related matters. The proposal for this rail line project is already in the hands of the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport through a submission made by Gyeonggi Province last month. On November 20th, the Thermometer Tower of Love was unveiled in front of the Gyeonggi Provincial Government Complex in Suwon City. Operating until the end of January next year, this tower will indicate the running amount of donations to a community chest, with each degree on the tower representing an increase of 320 million Korean won, 1% of the 100 degree goal of 32.2 billion Korean one. There is an apartment complex in Gyeonggi province that lies in two neighboring tax jurisdictions, resulting in inconvenient tax payments for residents 
stemming from the overlying jurisdictions of the two tax authorities. A GTV reporter examined the details. 행정 구역을 보면 제주에 있는 하천을 기준으로 안양시와 의왕시가 나눠지게 되는데요. 문제는 이 아파트 단지의 경우 안양시와 의왕시의 토지가 섞여 있다는 겁니다. 96% of this apartment complex lies within Weiwang City, while 3.2% is in Anyang City. According to related laws, residents of the more than 1,700 apartments in this complex have been paying local taxes to both cities in shared amounts. Since this past July, Gyeonggi Province and the two cities have been discussing this issue from legal and administrative perspectives so as to address the inconvenience for residents and were able to reach a consensus. According to the agreement, Weiwang City alone will levy local taxes on the residents of this apartment complex. It will then return 3% of the related tax revenue to Anyang City. All residents of this apartment complex now only need to pay local taxes to Weiwang City. Weiwang City's employees and members of the 안양시 세무부서에서의 아름다운 양보가 있었기 때문에 가능하고 저희 경기도에서도 이를 위해서 적극 중재하게 된 결과라고 생각을 합니다. This tax jurisdiction conciliation case is the first of its kind in Korea and will become a precedent for similar cases that may occur in the future. On November 20th, Gyeonggi Province's Agricultural Food Expo opened at the Coex Center in Seoul. During this event, Visitors can view and sample quality agricultural products of the province. Organized under the theme of Slower and Healthier, this agricultural food expo, titled G Food Show, features regional specialties, Gyeonggi governor approved food items, and the products of Farm Enterprise Cooperation. There is also a section designated for the display and sale of items produced by youth farmers. There are also booths for communicating Kyungi's policies and future values in agriculture. A tunnel of air purifying plants and vegetables grown with fish waste as fertilizer while purifying water drew considerable interest from visitors. Launched in 2007, the G Food Show marks its eighth occasion this year. The objective of this show is to promote Kyungi's agricultural products by publicizing their safety and reliability. During the show, a variety of accompanying programs for food producers, consumers and buyers took place including trade consultations, a table setting contest, and a home brewed liquor contest. Over the past three months since Kyungi opened its provincial organization facilities to the public, more than 350,000 residents have visited the facilities, indicating the public's positive reception of this initiative. A section of the lobby of this Kyungi provincial organization in Suwon City is occupied by members of the public using the facilities comfortably. Another public organization refurbished its idle spaces for use by the public for activities such as reading books and listening to music. 원래 공공기관은 좀 약간 이렇게 접근하기 어렵고 쉽게 문을 열긴 힘들더라고요. 근데 여기 이렇게 언제나 접근할 수 있게 해둬서 저도 편하게 왔다 갈수 있는 것 같아요. In the slightly more than 100 days since Gyeonggi Provincial Organizations opened their facilities that were constructed with tax revenue, so as to return the favor to the public, more than 345,000 persons have used the facilities equating to approximately 3,200 persons daily. Members of the public can also hire sports facilities, 
auditoriums, and conference rooms for fixed fees on a reservation basis. 내년에는 우선 원스톱으로 예약과 결제가 가능한 시스템을 저희가 구축을 할 겁니다. 도민들께서는 홈페이지 한 번만 들어오시면 어느 공간에 어느 시설이 비어 있고 비용은 얼마나 하고 가능한 시간대가 어떤지를 알수 있고요. To date, public organization facilities at more than 300 locations have been open to the public. Gyeonggi Province has also revealed plans to make public land available for use as vegetable gardens. On November 21st, a medical trade seminar was held in Suwon City. Organized on an invitational basis, this event saw participation by overseas buyers, including those from Vietnam and Uzbekistan, as well as domestic medical industry representatives. This medical trade seminar saw participation by overseas buyers and domestic medical enterprises. Each participant, including medical equipment and pharmaceutical industry representatives, was allotted 30 minutes for a presentation and discussion. Overseas buyers primarily included those from Vietnam and Uzbekistan, fast-growing medical markets. Uzbekistan and Korean goods are very expensive, and we want, with the help of Korean technology, to develop medicine in Uzbekistan. This event, in which 28 Kyungi enterprises participated, was organized by the province to promote the domestic medical industry and international cooperation in related fields. 다품종으로 진행하는 경우가 많거든요. 근데 의료기에 특화해서 이렇게 수출 상담회를 열어 주셔서 많은 바이어들을 한 자리에서 만날 수 있게 되어서 되게 좋았고 In addition to trade consultations, this seminar also saw a presentation of trade policies by the Pharmaceutical Development Office of Uzbekistan. 제약 산업, 의료기기 산업이 대한민국의 40%가 경기도에 소재하고 있습니다. 의자를 통해서 의료 산업도 교류가 활발히 되고 Gyeonggi Province began international medical industry exchanges in 2010 and has since established friendly relations with 20 overseas regions. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.